Good morning and welcome to another exciting edition of Smell the Coffee with me, your host, and a master, alongside my gorgeous co-host, Aina Raisa Queo, the sexiest of the sexy. How are you doing, <laughs> darling? I'm doing uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound like you're doing too well. I wasn't expecting the intro. I was like, okay, so What do you mean? That's how you introduce off. yourself. Okay, but not all for this show. <laughs> so I was like, okay, go off, sweetie. Sweetie. Yes. Do the most. It's no, a great I'm, day. I'm feeling well. You're feeling well? Yeah, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. Man, it's a weekend. How's our weekend? Let's do what we can. Let's do what we can. And with the time that just we have. Just don't blink too fast because the more you blink, then this weekend yeah. is just gone. Just like the faster that. it goes the by, actually. Goes. Mm. Today's a very special day for me. It's my daddy's birthday. Mm. So happy heavenly birthday to Diana's dad. Happy birthday to Diana's dad. He popped off. Diana's <laughs> I don't know who popped off him or my mom, <laughs> uh, both. but both of them popped off when they yeah. made me. So, um, yeah, to my dad, man, happy birthday. It, it, it's amazing that you have a daughter as amazing as me. Oh, wow. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Says the person herself. Says mm. the person herself. Where is your humility? Is, uh, nowhere. <laughs> I have no humility at all. If there's someone that is not humble in this world, you know you it's know, not me. You know how they say how to identify a non-humble person. Uh, when they say, show me I'm the most humble person ever. Exactly. You know they are not. You know they're <laughs> not humble. And I like how you said, you and I mm. have... What? You said inflated self-importance. <laughs> it's true, my dear. Because if you don't check yourself, who will who check? Who will? Who will who check will? you? You gotta guess yourself up. Mm. You gotta guess yourself up. So anyway, that is it for today's show. But after the break, I mean intro. Yeah. Because if I said that is it for today's show, then they think that the show, show is, is over. Done, yeah. Don't worry, we still have like a whole other 20 minutes to go. But on today's episode, we're talking about the newly launched Leffa Butler. And we just have to have to tell you all about it. But first, a quick ad break. And today, next to me, I have Iyalo seated next to me, who is going to tell us just a little bit more about the Lefa Butler app that was just introduced. Oh, sorry, my apologies. It's not an app. It's a device. It's a I'm device. Yes, correct. How are you doing, Iyalo? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Precious? Can't complain. <laughs> Thank you for having so, me. So, can you just tell us a little bit about the Lefa Butler? What exactly is it? Okay, so here is the Lefa Butler. It's a little device that just stream streamlines the um the rides so we are trying to get read not to get really rid of the app but then we're trying to make it very convenient for people to order a ride just with the tap of a button so the whole device has every information that already is on the app mm -hmm. the drive it displays the driver's name the vehicle registration number the color of the vehicle and then it just lets you know when the driver is outside so essentially everything that you'd see on the app but this mm -hmm. time just on the device mm, device yes now this is such a great initiative i just wanted to know what prompted the team into establishing this butler device okay so one of our corporate social responsibility at lefa transportation services is uh, promoting responsible drinking and driving so this okay. device 
device more especially would be at restaurants and bars and clubs. Okay. Uh, so we are encouraging people to actually leave their uh, phones at home and come have a good time and at the end of the yeah. day uh, take a responsible ride which home. Which is much safer. Which is much safer. So then we brought up uh, the butler to just uh, eliminate the whole process of your phone went low in a, in a club yeah. or like you don't have data or you lost your smartphone and you really need to get home. Yeah. So then you can just uh, go by the bar counter or reception and mm -hmm. just uh, be able to press the 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 butler and then he requests for a ride for you okay yes. now you did mention a club and we all know a club gets packed mm -hmm. so um would it then be advisable for the bigger establishments to mm -hmm. have more than one butler device mm -hmm. because uh, at the end of the day we might just have an influx of people running to get this service from the butler device from this establishment okay so the cool thing about the butler is it can request like seamless rides so not only one mm -hmm. but like if you have five uh, people or passengers that want to request for a lever yeah everything will just be noted on the on, on the butler so it gives you a reference number to say reference number one two three and then yeah. you have it so it's not only it just doesn't only request one right at a like time at a time like the app does okay. it uh, allows you to request multiple rights so only one butler per establishment okay mm -hmm. so it's still um efficient at the end of the day yes correct. now um what makes the butler device mm -hmm. unique compared mm -hmm. to just carrying your phone along and using the app Okay, okay, so this doesn't need data. Oh, yeah, okay. it doesn't need data. It's already connected. Our IT people already took care of it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't need, it only needs to get plugged on electricity. Mm -hmm. So as per the phone, like I've mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's, it's really, it gets very hectic where you, you your phone went off because oh, you've been yes. snapping the whole Power. entire, the yes. whole entire <laughs> evening or like you lost your phone mm -hmm. or like you really just need to get home. So this one is a whole unique one that you just go by the counter and press it and then it just request, gives you a reference. Request Request yeah. for a driver for you, uh, and it also notes on this little screen once the driver has arrived. Has arrived, yeah. yeah. And all you need to do is go uh, outside. You see the left sign there. You get yeah. in a ride, and you give your reference number as confirmation to the driver. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. so it looks, sounds very efficient, it sounds very unique as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. but uh, we know with everything that is newly introduced, there must be a few pros and cons. Correct. What are some of the disadvantages and the advantages as well mm -hmm. of the Lefa device that you mm -hmm. think there are? Uh, like you've mentioned before, you've asked before we go on and said, you've asked me a question, what about if you want to get to an yes. establishment and you don't have a phone? Yes. So I think that's one of the um, cons mm -hmm. where you can only you can only use the device when you're at a specific Living, restaurant yeah. where it's uh, situated there. So unfortunately, we are not giving it to everyone like mm -hmm. to have it in your bag or for you to use mm -hmm. but it's only for specific establishments that have requested for it okay. and the uh, advantage i can say is the convenience of, yeah. of in, in the safety aspect of uh, being able to not really worry about how to get home yeah uh, knowing that you can just uh, use the device have fun and, the, and at the end of the day you don't or like the whole don't drink and drive aspect as well. Yeah. If you have a vehicle, leave it at home, get yeah. to the club. Uh, and during 3 a.m. Uh, or whenever you're done, mm -hmm. you request for a ride. For a ride. Yes. I think it's very convenient, like you've just mentioned, and mm -hmm. definitely um, a nice thing to have for bigger establishments. Now, um, I know this is quite interesting because... Mm -hmm. The part of leaving your car at home, mm -hmm. leaving your phone at home mm -hmm. and just going out mm -hmm. and just having a good time mm -hmm. is what interests me the most. But of course, this device was made for bigger establishments. So how can these bigger establishments get their hands on this Butler device? OK, the great thing is we are giving them out for free. Um, so it's it's we are not charging any amount okay. like i've mentioned is our corporate social responsibility so we mm -hmm. have a, a plenty of them mm -hmm. so if anybody wants to get in touch with us on how to, to to get into their establishment so we set up the location and stuff yeah you can always reach out to me on uh, marketing mm -hmm. at lefa.com.na or you can contact me on 081-80-44605 Okay. Yes. Now, are there any specific requirements that these establishments would necessarily need in order to um, acquire a Butler device? Uh, no specific requirements. Mm -hmm. um, just that our our 
social responsibilities should align to say okay. maybe you also promote responsible drinking and driving. So we are giving it out to anybody, especially now on, uh, at establishments where we know that they use uh, the lefas. Yeah. So we've identified a lot of um, establishments like around uh, Ventuk mm -hmm. that have people that really go there and really use the lefa. Yeah. So that's also one of the requirements that would um, require because sometimes you you drop off the butler at uh, somewhere where people don't even don't use lefa at all. Lefa. Yes. Yes. Or they request a lefa and they are shocked about uh, the, the prices of lefa. Yeah. So we are looking also to establishments that we've already partnered with um, mm -hmm. in the past before. Um, and if an, a new establishment comes into the picture, it's something that we can uh, both collectively work yeah, on work into on. marketing the butler. Yeah. Yes. Now, um, I also asked this question earlier and I just didn't get to it, yeah. but um, will there be specific drivers that are going to be allocated to um, rides requested strictly from the butler device only? No. Um, all the drivers, we have a fleet of about 80 drivers mm -hmm. at the moment, so all the drivers will be able to um, um, get the clients that are requesting on the butler because how our lefa app works is it um connects you to the nearest driver in your area, in your area yeah. yeah so if a nearest driver is at any establishment i can mention one that we've already partnered with goodfellas mm -hmm. okay. if there's a driver that is close to goodfellas then that's a driver that gets the the, the ride on the butler okay so it's not for specific uh, drivers it's mm -hmm. for all drivers. all the drivers yes now you just mentioned good fellas and i'm excited to hear who else you have um partnered with uh, for the butler device where can we expect to get these butler devices at which place can i go to that i know okay there's a butler mm -hmm. device here mm -hmm. i can leave my phone okay so at the moment we've partnered with good mm -hmm. we've partnered with mint nightclub we've partnered with club origin mm -hmm. we've partnered with wolf shack uh, we've partnered with uh, Windup Town Lodge. We've partnered with et I don't know how to pronounce it well, etc. Mm -hmm. um, we've partnered with Vinyls. Yeah. Um, also the village, the village garden. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, oh, Bush Bar mm -hmm. and in Olympia, the vintage in Olympia as well. So it's this is just on top of my head. Yeah. But like when we launched, uh, it really got to a lot of people. Yeah. And people are reaching out. They want the butler. So yeah, we'll we'll be announcing on our social media yeah, where which to find companies the yeah, yeah. have hopped on. Yes, yes. Now yes, you yes, mentioned correct. quite a number of companies, and mm -hmm. I'm I'm excited for people to actually get to use this device and yes. for it to for its convenience to play yeah. through in different people's lives. Mm -hmm. But um, before we end it off, any final remarks from your side? Uh, final remarks is we are super excited. It's a it's a new product for us. We have we haven't really tested out yet, mm -hmm. so I'm super excited to get um, the companies or the restaurants tried out mm -hmm. and to hear the response from uh, uh, people or the passenger and how the experience was. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's that's all from my side. And maybe to also support initiatives like this, yeah. uh, innovative. Um, we are we are going into a, we are tipping into a whole new era of yeah. technology d driven products so I urge if anybody really wants to hop on the device, get in mm. touch with me and we can see how we can make it work. I think it will be a great feature to have at guest houses and lodges as well. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But that does bring us to the end of our interview. Iyalo, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you so much for bringing the Butler device along. That does bring us to the end of our interview for today. But please stick around for the rest of the show. Neopaints has established a 67-year Namibian legacy, creating personalized paint solutions that blend quality and innovation for the Namibian people. We pride ourselves in being a 100% Namibian-owned company, investing in our country and our people by employing and empowering true Namibians. With every brush stroke, Neopaints commits to our quality guarantee and always delivering a coat of excellence. At Neopaints, we always stay true to our country. We are as Namibian as you. Speaking at the Namibia Gas and Oil Conference, which 
commenced in Ventuk earlier this week, Mines and Energy Minister Tom Alwendo emphasized that oil investments need to be well managed for them to yield a positive result for Namibia. He urged officials involved in the gas and oil sector to always act in the best interest of the country. This video is courtesy of Esther Kamati. Aspirations for what this sector can actually mean to us. We also need to be cognizant of the social, political, and economic complexities that can arise because of the oil sector. While potential significant oil investments are expected to flow into the country, it is not also given that prosperity will flow. Uh, prosperity will fo follow only in the, if the investments and the consequent oil revenue are well managed. And if not well managed, the subsequent results could well be um, a worsened socio-economic challenges. Therefore, poor management of the oil and gas sector can drive corruption and inequality that in turn will fill social tensions and can threaten our political stability. We just need to learn lessons from some oil producing nations whose oil production has not resulted in a broad based socio economic development. And the duty to do so is on all of us, uh, especially those of us who are entrusted with the public responsibility. In the heart of Africa lies a land of timeless beauty. Welcome to Namibia, where nature's wonders unfold. A land of breathtaking deserts, untamed wilderness, and ancient traditions. Beneath its surface, Namibian diamonds, crafted by nature, coveted by the world. A testament of time. An extraordinary giveaway, Namibia Diamond Trading Company is giving you the chance to win a polished diamond valued at 100,000 Namibian dollars. To enter, simply scan the QR code, send a WhatsApp to 085-785-6231 with hashtag diamond and follow the on-screen instructions. Discover the magic of these unique diamonds from the heart of Namibia to yours. Now, if you're into sport, let's see what Brian is up to from our sporting desk. Okay, well, we are joined by Javon Wilson in studio again. Javon, let's talk about the Premier League. How are you doing today, though? I'm doing very well. Thank uh -huh. you. I'm glad to be back. Okay. Um, first week, how do you feel about the first week of the Premier League? Um, well, being a Man United supporter, uh, a little bit in indifferent. Yeah. But I think it was a, a good uh, curtain raiser on, on Friday. Man mm. City uh, opening up with a 3 0 uh, uh, scoreline. You predicted the, the upset? Yeah, it didn't, didn't come. I thought our, our brother Lyle Foster could have, uh, could have done a little bit he better. Played well, he did, yeah, he played he, really he did well. very well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, um, the competition, let's, uh, with the top 10 guys, let's talk about the, the, the EPO competition that we have going on. Um, we credited the few, a few guys from the, the pool that won the thing. Let's just take a look at the, the pool. The, Nesta Kati, what are your thoughts on Nesta Kati coming in first place, securing that $500 voucher with JSB Sports betting? Well, first and foremost, congratulations to Nesta. Uh, his 500 has been credited to his uh, JSB account. We can confirm. He did very well. Um, yeah, I mean, 22 points, he got five execs, wow. which is pretty awesome. Would I you would say, say that's luck or do you think that's like just... I, I think it's intuition, man, sure. you know? That's I think a lot. he has a better intuition than, than what I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, Nesta Kadi, 22 points. We can see there, Munoj comes with 20.5, not far off. I think it's 1.5 points. Yes. Uh, Kaberian has 19 there. Big Z with ex uh, three exacts. We can see nine points there, uh, 18 points in total. Uh, Monteria, 18 points in total. And then if you can see there at the bottom, Austin, 16 points. Where are you and I? That's the question. I thought it would be high up in the ranks. You know that. I was actually very confident it would be somewhere in the top. But congratulations 10. to the guys that ended up uh, below the, the next 10 best <laughs> performing guys. Yeah, they did very yeah. well. They also received their $50 Namibian uh, betting vouchers betting from us. Vouchers, yes. So congratulations to those guys as well. Okay, well, um, you guys, 
if you haven't joined the group yet, you still have time. I think it's still early because some people are, you know, Anushka was writing me off. Yes. Um, I made a bold prediction telling Anushka that I'll be in the top three come end of the season. So then she sees now the, um, the log and I'm there at the bottom. I'm like at 60th or 67th. She's like, yeah, it's done. You're not going to make it. I'm like, this is only the first week. Yeah, we still it's have a marathon. It's weeks. Not a yeah, it's not a race. Yeah. It's not a sprint race. It's a marathon. But if you haven't joined up yet, definitely do check the link down in the description and make sure that you do join the EPL uh, prediction campaign that we have going on. This is now by GSB Sports Betting in uh, collaboration with Namibia Media Holdings. Well, that means that if you if you do join up and you do and in the top ten. First place, if you get the yellow cap, you do get yourself a $500 voucher. And if you are now second to the 10th position, you get yourself um, a $50 voucher with JSP Sports Betting. It's actually 500 cash. 500 cash. cash not voucher. Not yeah. voucher. 500 cash. So you do get $500. Second to 9th to 10th, then you just get your $50. And then you can, you know, put down bets in the Premier League. Welkom jullie, mijn naam is Brian Monango en ik is jullie zijn aanbieder voor Gooi Kolen. Dit is donderdag de sportstrijd van Noem. Einde van hierdie program sal ek en hoe om vriends te praat. Is dat wel? Is je bij? Le Jol. Ik ben er ietsje mekoor. Is dit nou onderbruk? Ik ben van Skakko, we zien jullie weer vrijdag volgende week. Goeie koor! Goeie koor! If you don't know what to do this weekend, no worries. Check out what you can do this weekend with our very own Weekend Vibe. It's mid-month and things are on the quiet side on the entertainment front. However, if you are looking for something to do, you name host their annual cultural festival under the theme Embracing Our Roots, Enriching Our Future on Friday as from 11 with the crowning of Miss Unam. The fun continues on Saturday with a live band as from 4 at the Winter Campus. Tickets are available via webtickets.com.na. On Friday at 6.30, the Namibian Arts Association hosts their monthly Artists Meet and Greet, Painters Edition at the Association Building in Robert Mugabe Avenue. Entrance will set you back 20 bucks, but is free for members. And at 7, the Savannah Afros perform at Muso's Cafe and Bar in Vintok. Tickets cost 100 bucks in advance. On Saturday at 10, an artisan's market takes place at the Namibian Arts Association in Robert Mugabe Avenue until 4. Entrance is 20 bucks. If you haven't managed to do so yet, make a turn at the National Art Gallery before 1 o'clock on Saturday to view Indifference, a collaboration between the gallery and the Nairox Foundation in South Africa featuring the work of five local artists. Or head across the road to the Franco Namibian Cultural Center, where Rising Voices, a group exhibition, can be viewed until the 21st. Finally, Ikorba's crafters are still showcasing their latest designs for the 2023 edition of Christmas in July until August 31st. Take care! Hmm. E-Ticket, your online ticket solution for events and event marketing, bringing you ease of mind and making sure that your event gets out there. For more information, contact events at nmh.com.na.
Well, lovelies, that brings us to the end of yet another exciting episode of Smell the Coffee. It is a Saturday, so we do have to say our goodbyes a little early. So, you know, we can bestrata and we can properly, yeah. we can usher in the Saturday properly. Uh, definitely. As much as I can, because, you know, I'm still sick. So. Mm. Don't yeah. worry, I'll enjoy for both of us. Yes, you'll be my voice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that's that sounds so wrong. But nonetheless, we thank you very much for watching our show today. See you on Monday, same time, same place. It's all our love, all our light. Adios. Adios.